What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Scott Free, and this is The Sounds of Sunday. What's up, YouTube? This is your boy, Scott Free, from the Sounds of Sunday. I am your radio host, MC, of today. And this is Sunday, uh, October uh, 4th, 2020 show. Uh, get your headphones out, because it's going to be a funky show coming up for you today. Stay tuned. Coming up is my R&B music mix, right here, on the Sounds of Sunday. Right back.
And yes, coming back. That's a nice little cut by Diamond Ortiz with Gaz Pedal. And before that, you heard another one back to back with Diamond Ortiz with Toe Jam. And before that, you heard one by Joe Big Al with Do It. And back to back was a nice little cut by Otis McDonald with Church of the Eight Church of Eight Wheels. I'm actually uh, featuring a um, couple of my newer, I mean, a couple of my uh, favorite artists today on the show is Otis McDonald and Diamond Ortiz in the R&B music set. I am your host, Scott Free. Thank you for tuning in this afternoon on this October 4th, 2020 show, um, where I play all my music that you've never heard of before. Some of you may have, but I play them and promote them on my show. Uh, I want to give a shout out to my lovely executive assistants all the way in the Philippines. Um, her name is Vanessa Rian. Vanessa, this uh, shout out for you, sweetie. Um, doing a good, great job for me. Great work. Keep it up. Um, and we're gonna do some, we're gonna do some good business together. Okay. Uh, she's doing a fantastic job for me over there. Uh, that is my executive assistant over there. Uh, my lovely um, assistant name is Vanessa Rian. Shout out, Vanessa, right here on the Sounds of Sunday. Coming up is my smooth jazz music mix, right here on the Sounds of Sunday. Right back.
successful cut by Bad Snacks with uh, Easy Saturday. And before that, you heard one by DJ Williams with Ella's Interlude. And before that, on this extended smooth jazz music mix, was one by Nora Eat, E.T. Block D, with Mide Night. I spell N Y D N capital N Y T E. Nice little cut. And kicking off this smooth jazz music mix was one by Quincus Morella with Ferris Wheel right here on the Sound Sunday. Thank you for tuning in this afternoon. I am your host, Scott Free. And like I said, um, coming up um, on my next, after my next set, uh, my, my international set, I'm going to actually give you the um, continuation of the National Political Agenda, sponsored by my boy <coughs> T. West of Afro Synergy. Shout out to my boy T. West, Afro Synergy. All right. So uh, stay tuned. Coming up after that. Okay, this is the international music mix right here on the Sound of Sunday, where I play all the music that you've never heard of before. Some of you may have, but I play them and promote them on my show. Stay tuned. This is Scott Free. Right back.
So cut by Jingle Punks with Pumpin' Irie. And before that, you heard one by The Whole Other with The Basement Strut. And before that, on this extended international music mix, was one by Silent Partner with Coast. And kicking off um, this music set for today, um, on this October 4th, 2020 show, was one by Rage. And that was entitled Festival in Belize, right here on the Sound Sunday. Thank you for tuning in this afternoon on this um, sunny uh, Sunday, October 4th, 2020 show. I am your host, Guy Free, where I play and promote all my music from content creators you've never heard of before. Some of you may have, but I play and promote them on my show. <clears throat> so hopefully, I'm going to actually, I put my um, best music uh, from the content creators in rotation. So you might have heard some of them before, some of you might have. Might not have. Okay. And anyway, coming up is um, this is actually the um, National Political Agenda sponsored by my boy, uh, Brother T. West. Shout out to my brother T. West on Afrocentity. It's on YouTube. Check him out. Go over there and subscribe and listen to his shows. He's got some good political uh, views and some good content. Uh, straight talk. Um, some real, real good news for you. Okay. Uh, Okay, so this is number 12 and 13 on the national political agenda. Uh, number 12, life must be respected and protected. Okay. Um, 13, education must be treated with the level of respect and importance of the military. Okay, I did, I did that last week. I'm going to go to 14 and 15. 14 is social and, wel um, social and welfare programs must be a means of self-sufficiency, not a lifestyle. Okay. 
lot of, a lot of people out there is actually uh, getting on the, the dime of the government and the government right now, the government is tired of it. So they're actually getting people, weaning people off. So if you're one of these people, you better look at another program, okay, because you're about to lose uh, whatever uh, lifestyle you've actually had getting on the government's dime with welfare, okay. And 15, courts and police departments must uphold the constitutional rights of African Americans, ensuring they are free from 9-11 calls solely based on racism. This can can and has led to the death of African Americans. Okay, we basically what he's saying here is we need to actually <clears throat> you need to actually start finding these people who's calling in, um, just actually just reporting on African Americans being in any area doing anything. Um, and just basically want to get them in trouble. This is actually getting out of hand and it's getting really silly. So you need to start finding these people. Um, I would actually, if I was a city, get a call like this on 911, I would actually start finding these people um, on a regular. Okay, if you're going to call in, knowing for a fact people have not done anything wrong, and actually, they can actually uh, arrest you on a civil tip for harassment. Okay, I don't know why my people, basically African Americans, don't know that, but you can actually start actually start uh, arresting these people on citizens' arrest if they continue to do civil harassment against you when you're not doing anything wrong and you haven't violated any laws or city ordinance. Okay, <clears throat> so that's uh, 14 and 15. Now, what I promised, I was going to go through one through, um, I guess one through 15 today. Okay, so number one. Uh, on a national political agenda, sponsored by Brother T. West, is government study on the adverse effect today of slavery, Jim Crow, and discrimination against African Americans, adverse effects on establishment, and accumu accumulation of generational wealth, and the monetary value of beneficiaries of slavery, Jim Crow, and discrimination. That's number one. Excuse me. Number two is reparations. Very important. Reparations owed and must be rendered to African Americans, descendants of those enslaved beginning approximately in 1619, in primarily British, French, and Spanish colony territories, and what would become the United States of America. Reparations. We're pushing for it, and we're going to continue until we get it, um, because it's owed. Not do, not not actually something given. It is owed to African Americans, and we're coming for it. Okay, no more of this BS about it's a study and all this stuff. Now the study's over. Okay, it's time to put it on the table and it's time to pay it. Uh, number three, to remove reparations bill HR 40 into discussion and com from committee to a vote in the full house. Okay, number four, to produce a U.S. Senate bill equivalent to HR 40 in the house. Number five, hard work and free labor should be valued and rewarded, whether it started in 1619 or today. Okay. Number seven, prison reform must be, must include the right for ex-felons who have served their sentences, the right to vote in all states. Okay. Number eight, Constitution of the United States must be upheld. Must be upheld. Number nine, federal laws of the United States must be upheld also. Number ten, government should not intrude in affairs of African American families except where there are violations of the law. Okay. Number eleven, the core of of families are male, female, and children. Not the other way around, female, male, and children. That's not the way it's supposed to be, and it's never going to be that way. Period. So I'm not sure what these states are doing because women are basically um, consumers, so they figure if they curtail or actually appeal to women, they will consume. No. Um, we're not going for that. Okay, It's men, women, and children. Period. Uh, number 12, life must be respected and protected. Number 13, education must be treated with the level of respect and importance of the military. Okay. Number 14, social and welfare programs must be a means of self-sufficiency, not a lifestyle. Okay. 15, courts and police departments must uphold the constitutional rights of African Americans, ensuring they are free from 9-11 calls solely based on racism. Okay. Get that? Racism. That can can and has led to the death of Af African Americans. Period. Okay, so those are actually coming down to um, one through fifteen. Okay, those are the political 
um, National Political Agenda, sponsored by Brother T. West on the 21-point agenda. Okay, I'm going to go all the way until we get to the 21 points. Okay, anyway, I am your host, Scott Free. Thank you for tuning in this afternoon. Like I said, I'm giving a shout out to my executive assistant all the way over there in the Philippines. Her name is Vanessa Rian. Shout out, Vanessa. I told you I was going to give you a shout out this weekend. Okay, keep working hard for me, baby. All right, we'll go ahead and conduct business and um, get my company get my company up and, and um, doing business in the Philippines. Okay. Anyway, I am your host, Scott Free. Thank you for tuning in this afternoon, and I will talk with you next weekend right here on the Sounds of Sunday. Later.